All the transgender stuff started coming out. Uh, it got talked about a lot when Caitlyn Jenner came out as transgender. Uh, that was a big thing, and people had a lot of opinions. And one of the funniest opinions to me uh, was when people were like mad that Caitlyn was being called a hero. They're like, I don't think Caitlyn's a hero. Caitlyn's not a hero to me. And I love that Caitlyn was considered a hero because I've always wanted to be a hero. But you used to have to do so much. And Caitlyn really lowered that bar. <laughs> I don't got to fight for your life. I don't got to put my life on the line for your rights to be a hero anymore. Now, all I got to do to be a hero is tell everybody a secret. Well, I got lots of those. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> I've touched two dicks. <laughs> One of them was mine. The other, here's what happened. I was drunk one night having sex with this girl. There's another guy having sex with that same girl. Good old fashioned devil's threesome. It wasn't like an episode of Scooby-Doo where it was like the long hallway with all the doors and she was just running back and forth. <laughs> or like a sitcom where they had to be at like a birthday party and a wedding reception on the same night, but luckily they're in the same hotel, so they're just, nope. It's good old fashioned devil's threesome. We're all drunk, we're all having some sex. And at one point during the sex, the girl takes my hand and puts it on the other guy's thing. Do you guys know what muscle memory is? <laughs> because every other time I touch one, it's mine, so my hand just knew exactly what to do. And I'm gonna be honest right now, that's the most confident I've ever been during sex. It's the one move I've done the most. I'm very good at it. You can ask him. But it's not necessarily where I wanted my hand to be, but I didn't want to be rude and just be like, ew. So what I did is I slowly dropped fingers off like a countdown to let them know this is coming to an end. I go, all right, we're done with that. Let's go back to focusing on this young lady and also let's not be Facebook friends anymore. That was good, and then a few nights later, I was drunk again, having sex with a different girl, because I'm on the radio, and uh, <laughs> we're having some sex, we're drunk, we're having a good time, and I, I was going well, but I, it was like, I could climb the mountain, but I couldn't yodel, if that makes sense. And she started, she's like, hey, are you gonna finish? And I was like, I just want you to finish first. And she's like, I already did a bunch of times. I'm like, well, you don't gotta lie about it. <laughs> And she's like, I just want you to finish. And I'm like, I'm gonna, but I'm just really enjoying this. And then she started, she like changed. She's like, you better come. And I'm like, okay, Jesus. <laughs> I will, but like, not if you're talking to me like that. And she's like, well, you, why aren't you coming right now? And I was like, I, I want to, but just let's, let's let it happen. And she's like, do you think I'm ugly? I'm like, no, I think you're super hot. And she's like, then why aren't you coming? I'm like, well, this is a reason right now. <laughs> I like getting yelled at in this situation. And then she just keeps going. She's like, you better come, you better come. And I was just like, I don't want it right now, I don't want to. We didn't stop having sex, by the way, just kept going. Uh, <laughs> and because we were drunk and we were like contentious and kind of yelling at each other for whatever reason, I thought about when I touched that guy's dick and I came and uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it feels good to be a hero.